I want to welcome back to FF14. So, as I said last time, Pictomancer and Viper, I shall leave where they are for the moment and work on them later. Main story is a thing right now, and that's going to be many, many hours. For this expansion, I'm putting my foot down. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to play tank. In fact, my favorite tank, Gunbreaker. So let's get to it, shall we? Let's talk. A new world to explore. Hoshika Tsunsuchiki has a message for you. I probably said that wrong. Welcome back, Vader. Got a word from Aaronville. It seems he's managed to secure passage to Teruel aboard the guildship vessel. Why don't you wait in the main hall while I go inform your travel companions? It should only take a moment. Let's begin. And there's the map of the world. You have Garlean up there. You have all of Eorzea over here. And you got the new world. And then you have this map here too, which is a smaller map, which I th think is before the Shattering? Not the sh oh god, I have Elden Ring on the mind. I'm sorry, not the Shattering. Not the Shattering. Curse you, brain. I just got done playing Elden Ring. <laughs> For the day, not beating it. For the love of God, no. All right. For these, I'll put auto on. Oh, never mind. Oh, Ojika gave us the good news. We may. We've made ready to set sail at a moment's notice. The only one yet to arrive is Aaronvale himself. There he is, and there she is. <laughs> oh, you're all here. It took some persuasion, but the Gleaner's guildship has granted us pa uh, places aboard the vessel bound for Turrell. There'll be pa other passengers, researchers, and artisans, and the like, so we'll need a shared deck space. That's fine, Aaronville. I doubt anyone expected we'd have a ship all to ourselves. They're not casting us off just yet, so if you have any lingering concerns, now's the time to voice them. I wouldn't call it concern, but everyone's still clear on what it is we'll be doing in Turl, right? Yes? We've not forgotten. The nation of... Tul... Tuli... Ol... Ol... Tuliolo... Is in the midst of descending... It's next, uh, deciding its next ruler. As your chosen allies, we shall assist you during the rite of succession and support your bid to become Dawn Serpent. In addition to that, Althanode and I have other... Another objective. As part of the re reconstruction, Garlemald seeks a way to reconcile and rearrange with its neighbors. Re-engage, my bad. But by visiting Turl, we hope to learn more about how its myriad cultures interact with one another, how they find common ground, develop stronger ties, the sort of insight that might help our friends in Isabard. But we'll pursue But we'll pursue this goal in our own time. You can be assured that we'll give your contest all due attention. This is what I asked for. Otherwise, you're all welcome to do as you like. That's all I asked for, my bad. Man, this is already going well. You want to find it mo uh, find out about your grandfather, right, Cryo? Yes. As far as we could determine from the old missive I found, he had been tasked with investigating the Golden City by your father, the Dawn Servant. Yet, oddly enough, we have no record of that investigation in our archives, and nothing to explain the earring which accompanied the letter, which is what she's wearing right now. Thus, from reasons both official and personal, I should very much like to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'm assured there'll be a chance to speak with Papa. You can get your answers right from the source. I got a feeling things aren't going to go too smoothly. Just saying. I look forward to meeting him. In any case, we're not the only ones in, uh, with an interest in the City of Gold. The Golden City is a children's bedtime story. I'm part of the expedition only because the Third Promises commanded that I serve as a guide. 
Still playing the part of stoic servant, I see. Laview, don't you dare tell me you've changed your mind. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna uninstall the game. I think I'm done. Well, let's see. Yeah, we won't make you a dawn servant by standing here and talking about it. Hmm. Ha! Huh, a man of action. Right then, if we're all, if we're all still committed to the journey, then I say we make ready to depart. Which I got a feeling a series of cutscenes might happen when I leave. By the way, I'm saying it now, I'm absolutely blind to what happens in this expansion. I don't know dungeons, battles, or much of anything, honestly. So this is going to be great. Because when I played uh, Endwalker, I knew very little of it. But I've seen things like raid bosses and stuff before I even played it. All right. Eager as, e eager as they are, the others have already left for the harbor. We're not in any danger of missing the boarding call, but perhaps we should be on our way as well. You're right, Ernville. We'll go. Mm -hmm. Ah, cutscene. Perfect. I can let go of my mouse and sip my coffee. Let's see what these improved graphics can bring me. Feel your excitement, your eagerness to explore the unknown. Well, for once, the fate of the world doesn't rest on our shoulders. We might even get a chance to enjoy ourselves. Do not be so quick to relax. Oh, Tural may seem but a short sail away on a map. The vast seas between brim with peril. The treacherous waters of Shade's Triangle alone have claimed countless vessels. Even following the safe route plotted by Admiral Bufiswin herself, this will be no pleasure cruise. Perhaps, but my voyage here was uneventful enough, disappointing me so. Either way, the two of you have first-hand experience, which will be of great comfort in the days ahead, I'm sure. It's nothing new to us. All aboard! We're casting off! It's time. I trust you have everything you need? Maybe. Off we go to another world. Uh, another continent. Which is the new world for us. So what sucks is I don't have Steam Overlay on, so I can't take screenshots, and I'm gonna need one for my thumbnail. And so does our ship oh, well. cast off from the docks. Oh, Airvale is doing the uh, narration. We sail west, as Catenran did some eighty years past, bound for the new world, known to her children as the continent of Toral. Toral. Said and done, it'll be your daughter who sits the throne. Me, Woglamat! She's excited. Sorry about that. I really wanted this. Boop. Like I said, I wanted a screenshot. I used, uh, I got it. I'll use that one for now. Unless a better one shows itself. Oh, here we go. Where are we going? Show us. There we are. Sailing south.
Ooh, the music's actually really good. Oh. If someone pulls out Blitzball, well... Sailing so far. Oi, so far so good. Did not expect that voice coming out of the valley. See, she's a fickle one. Calm one moment, blowing a gale the next. I'll take my rest while I can then. an age ago now and we've seen naught but open water ahead i knew Tural was far but it's another thing to really know i can only imagine how long it's te technically been in the game that we've been on the open sea speaking of which some of our fellow passengers have made this trip before several times in fact i was able to learn a few things about tuliolal and the right of succession since we still have a long way to go, why not have a chat with them yourself? I'm sure you have questions of your own. I have some. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. Well, no, I know what I'm doing. I don't know what is going to happen or what's this about. Turn the music down just a smidge. It's a little louder than the voices. Come here, BGM. Just turn it down a little more. Turn voices up. The music should never. Oh, well, okay, there we go. We have fire. Right. Give me a second. Yeah, there's fire crystals there. Yeah, fire shards. Thank you. All right, let's talk to some people. Alize, I can feel my edge start to dull on these long sea voyages. How about some little light spar sparring later? Holy cow, can I talk? Kryle? Have you spoken with our shipmates? Tarot is still a good distance away, and that might be a pleasant way to pass the time. I will be doing so in a second. I just want to talk to all my teammates. Hey, Wook. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Ah, she's still... She's worried. Which is understandable. Hey, man. Hmm. Oh, this is my first vi visit to Toral. Oh, jeez. Oh. Bon... Yeah, ten. Bon ten's the name. I am working with Eshtain's Aesthetics in Ulda, you see. But my employment with them, uh... Came to an end. That's why I'm visiting Charlayan in hopes of starting over. While it's attempting and failing to find a new job, I see the chance to board this vessel when I overheard room for other passenger for another passenger has suddenly opened up. I am told the Dawn Servant welcomes all, regardless of origin. And so Tul Wait, Tul E Yola Tul Tuli Yola seemed like the perfect place to begin anew. Hopefully things will be better this time. All right. Hey guys, how you doing? I see you in the I see you in the Yorzia before. You're great and famous hero. Yeah. But enough of playing the simpleton. There was a time when we took great pains to maintain to maintain the deception. But with more of you Yorzians coming to Turl, it's become impractical. Besides, my mercenary days are over. Too many of our war band have fallen and so we head home to lick our wounds. My story? 
Well, since you asked, I wanted to retrace the historic journey of the great Ketaram. You know, the first Yorzian to set foot on Toril almost 80 years ago. The Maul Yaz leader is said to have welcomed Ketaram with open arms and sent him home with a bounty of silverware as token of their friendship. But the real treasure was the crops he brought back, potatoes, tomatoes, and corn, which spread across Yorzia like wildfire. His grand adventure led to culinary revolution. The tales of Ketaram returned to Turl several times after that, but his ship vanished during his second rec recorded voyage, and he was never heard from again. That even a seasoned explorer like him could meet such an end is testimony to the ocean's peril. Yeah, we had that going on. It was called Leviathan for a bit. Then we dealt with him. Hey, a gleaner. I heard that Erinville was looking for passage to Tuliola. So I managed to squeeze his party aboard one of our chartered vessels. As fortune would have it, we had we just scheduled an expedition to Turo. Okay. Stop the third trader. An adventure, I presume. Sure. I'm a merchant myself, based in Ulda. Specialty imports and exports. Yours are material both. If this is your first crossing the salt, as they say, do remember that social mores of Eorzea are not necessarily the same as those over yonder. Consider this. It is not uncommon for various races to be referred to instead of by names of certain clans. For the Metok, the Hetsaro, Hetsaro, the Rothgar, the Zab, Zral, Zral. Not because every member of a given clan is of the same race, mind, but because the individuals of said race are associated with the clan. That clan. A fair assumption in certain cases, but take care not to give offense. I cannot read. I am a dum-dum. Alpha node? I'm told this vessel's been equipped with a barrier generator to protect it from storms. A reassuring thought, though I nevertheless pray there will be no need for it. Great, thanks for telling me that. This ship's getting attacked sooner or later. Swathy sailor. You want to make a wager? We're taking bets on who will be sat next to the Dawn Server shi shiny chair. There are four claimants in the right succession. Your young Wak Lamad being one of them, of course. But from what uh, from what a Mamul Ja Blok told us, the other three are straw contenders. Not too many keen to risk their coin on the third promise. Hmm. All right, who texted me? Uh, my brother wants to play Sea of Thieves with me tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see. It might be a bit late at that time. Got work tomorrow. I should go in there. Nah. Also, I am sorry. My pronunciation. I'm American. I cannot pronounce things. Hey, Kryle. Did you learn anything of interest? Not really. The only one that gave me something of interest is the sailor. Oh, I haven't heard the one about the clan names. We should have Waklama and Aaronvale teach us the ones we should know. Actually, it's getting a little chilly up here on deck. Let's all gather in the cabin. She is a cruel mistress, and this is not a good sign for me. We're in for a proper storm, it seems. <sighs> uh oh, she's seasick. How's your stomach? Any better? I don't know what you mean. I don't get seasick. I'm just feeling a little nauseous is all. 
So that's why she was taking deep breaths up on deck. Isn't that what seasickness is? Erinville, you were born in Tyrrell, yes? Do many Viera live there? The Chetona, as my people are called, have settlements mainly in the north, in Shaktural. And your family? I know nothing of my father, not even his name. As for my mother... Oh. <gasps> 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 Uh-oh. Come, we should lend what aid we can. Well, that progressed. I have not seen the ocean rage with such fury before or since. The heaving waves tossed our ship about like a toy, sending sailors tumbling. The dauntless Alizé, quick to the rescue, was almost lost to the sea herself. Champion rushed to deploy the vessel's magical defenses, and thereby shield us from the lightning. What an extraordinary life he must lead to be able to operate such a device with practiced ease. Yeah, it was called Leviathan. Vauclamat, too, threw herself into the rescue efforts, though one might have mistaken her for another soul in distress. By the time the unruly seas had calmed, our strength was all but spent, and we had yet to even glimpse the shores of Tural. In retrospect, of course, that battle against the storm would prove a fitting prelude to the coming contest for the throne. Yeah, from the sounds of it, that one guy, he did mention there's three other successors fighting for the throne, so it sounds like we're going to have three main bosses to fight and contest with. that bell hopefully uh, telling everyone that there's land to hoe. Oh, that's a good sign. I'm smiling. Land ahoy? Or is it just signifying... Oh, there's seagulls. Yes, there's land nearby. There are seagulls. Good morning. Joining us for some fresh air? 
seems my belly has settled along with the weather, but I'll feel much better once we're on solid ground. Ugh. Can't be much farther now, can it? Seabirds. Land must be near. You need only hold out a while longer. For a dark moment, I thought the ocean might swallow us. Glad to have my pessimism proven wrong. In other good news, I examined the sailor who took a fall, and he's faring well. I'm sure he'll make a full recovery. Good news indeed. If all's well, then we needn't delay in launching the landing boat. Ships have to lower anchor some way from shore. Too close, and they risk having their underbellies ripped open by the reefs that crowd to Liola's coasts. Oh, one Come. second. Sorry about that. I, was, I had to do something. all this way ha, we only did what we were paid to do couldn't hardly set you drift halfway if anything it should be us thanking you for helping us through that beast of a storm as a matter of fact everyone started to fancy your chances in the contest <laughs> At this rate, we won't be able to lay wagers no more! <laughs> then I better not let you down. <gasps> Easy, stomach. Easy. We're the last to board. If there's nothing left to say, then let's shove off, shall we? Well, let's keep going. I'm out to get title cards because the water looks too good for what I was just seeing. Nope, okay. Maybe the water actually just looks that good. <sighs> Blue seas, clear skies, and boundless possibilities. I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Ooh, I like that. One second, sorry. Enjoying yourself for a change? Just like the trailer. There, look my friends. Behold the scene of our next great adventure. Last, we have come to the land you call the New World. To my home, Tural. We finally made it. It only took a few expansions before we finally made the New World. Dawn Trail officially has begun. I'm finally in a new land. New characters, new enemies. What is this music? Holy cow, I really like it. It's jazzy. She's still puking. Okay, not puking. She's heaving. Dry heaving. Oh, my. It is quite lovely.
Must be the palace. Where in the trailer we see myself, uh, the character fighting in. Gods, I've seen cities with an impressive mix of cultures, but this is something else. Is that a... No. I've never seen Varnu feathers in that color before. You'll find much here you never knew existed. There may be a sea route now, but visitors to Tuliyola are still few and far between. Tuliyola. Tuliyola. And as we don't build seafaring ships, only a handful of Turali ever venture abroad. Mamulja sells words mostly. Those willing to play the fool sail with Lomincean merchants to secure employment in Eorzea. I suppose that makes us a rare sight in your country. Rare and currently undocumented. Were there some forms we should fill out or. Forms? Did you forget who you're traveling with? Yes. Hmm. You are outsiders? Visitors to Turai? Wow, he has a mustache. We are. Our nation is soon to hold a right of succession to choose its next dawn servant. We will not abide interference from foreign agents seeking to foment trouble. What brings you to Tuli Yolal? I can answer that. These fine people are allies in my succession bid. Third, third promise. If you vouch for them, then all is well. Of course. Uh, please, accept our apologies. No need to bow and scrape. That our soldiers are so diligent in their duties fills me with pride. We'll be continuing our patrol then. I like his set of armor. I do. Well, well. You really are a figure of authority here. Are you suggesting I don't look the part? Eh, don't want me to answer that. Anyway, first things first. I bid you welcome to Tuli Hyolal. I am really liking the music right now. That's the one thing about FF14. You might not like the gameplay or some certain changes, but usually the music is really good. And right now it is killing it. All right. It's nighttime, sadly. I'd love to see the place during the daytime. Or the ship just anchored offshore. Not long to wait. The, uh, hello, what? What are you two talking about? I'm gonna just look around back here a little bit. Usually when I play these, I don't ever look around. I just go straight to the story quest, do this, do that. But this time, I'm actually gonna look around and chat with people. Because usually instead of chatting with all my teammates, I just go chat with the person that's the quest marker and go. But now, I have a reason to actually do all this. According to Aaronville and Vanu, I thought... Uh, the Venu I thought I saw belongs to a clan known as the Hana Hana. Hanu Hanu. Oh, that's easier to pronounce. Hanu Hanu. It seems they share more than a physical resemblance. Okay. What an amazing city. As lively as Ulda, and even more colorful. That it is. I would say it is even more lively than Ulda. I wonder what kind of trouble those soldiers are expecting. Uh... Huh. 
Ah, it's so nice to feel that familiar breeze again. I wasn't sure my stomach would make it. So, those soldiers are probably hearing remnants of what these two are talking about, of a ship being stationed offshore. All right, Aaronville, let's do this. Well, despite the storm's effort, to the contrary, here we are, safe and sound. You have arrived in Tuliola. You can return to the city at any time by speaking with the Swathy Sailor in Scholar's Harbor in Old Sherala. Carolina. Or you can just teleport. Oh, I have to attune. Can I attune that? Um, I'm going to assume yes, but I'm going to talk to Wok. Oh, you're going to give me a weapon. A mountain chromite. But it's... Uh, a 645? I hate to say it. Mine's a 665, ma'am. The nation of Tuliola. While being in, on solid ground and improved, Waklamot's mood... Improved Waklamot's mood. Her stomach appears to be lagging behind. Let me guess. Hungry or just no appetite still? She's hungry. All right, then. First things first. Immediately doing that. Nope, never mind. She's not hungry. I... <laughs> Still a bit queasy. No more boats for a while. I mean, it's not as bad as when we teleported with Aether, a the Aetherite crystals that we didn't attune. Oh, that was a fun part. I won't end up puking. I realize we just arrived, but we should get you familiar with the city before the right succession begins. No arguments here. I should very much like to explore. Same. I need to attune all your Aetherite crystals. Then, I'll guide you. Are you sure you're in any condition to do so? Haha, <laughs> we were wondering who these strange folk were. So the third promise has found yourself some new followers then. Followers? Well, Clamont, are you unwell? No, no, not at all. Can be better. The third promise does not get seasick. No, sir. As for my handpick entourage here, I've recruited them to help me win the right succession. I was about to show them around the city, in fact. That sounds lovely. But a group of foreigners is going to attract attention, especially if they're in the company of the third promise. Everyone will be curious. We certainly were. Your siblings have a tenacity to, uh... Command a respectable distance. But you, you're just so easy to approach. And I enjoy to do uh, I enjoy it so much when you do. Please don't ever worry that you're a bother to me. You're very kind. Good day to you, third promise. They do have a point. Wokloma is technically royalty here. Like it or not, a person of her station surrounded by this many outsiders is bound to draw a crowd. Wait, what do you mean technically? I suggest we move into two groups so as to attract less attention. Just technically ignoring me then. <laughs> Vader, you and Cry will come with me. Okay. I'll take the twins then. We'll get in touch once we have a good look around. The, that voyage was hard on all of us, so take it slow and recuperate. We have time enough for that. Enjoy your wanderings. Perhaps we should wait a bit, at least until Waklamat's nausea subsides. No need for that. Look, I'm ready to go. Ugh. Yeah, that's quick. Juliola <laughs> isn't going anywhere. Let's give Waklama a little more time. Oh, whoops, that's a player. I'm, I'm fine now, really. Can't stand around here all day feeling sorry for myself. What with the contest looming and all. Now, seeing as we're already here, I might as well tell you about the harbor. Aaron Vale already mentioned the reefs on the coastal waters, which explains why you don't see any big ships moor, moor, moored here at dock. Only vessels with shallow drafts can navigate the bay. Mostly small fishing boats and barges ferrying cargo up and down the rivers, 
Hawthorne Inland Settlements. Much of the incoming traffic is from Yachtural, the southern landmass. The clans there produce various goods for export. Their, uh, their wares are unloading here and carted off the merchant stalls to the neighboring markets. Speaking of which, Bayside Bevy should be our next stop. Okay. I know how these work. Actually, give me a second. Can I actually have, uh, one second? Not you, uh... Actually, would it be... Yeah, it'll be system. Mm -hmm. Actually... Let's do this. So at least the sound keeps going. So I can alt tap out and everything be fine. There we go. Oh, that guy has a fancy sword. Alright, let's go, girls! Waklamat and Kryl. The music is really good. I love it. Bayside Bevy. Can I, am I allowed to tune that or no? Because I just came here. Because there are some locations where I'm not allowed to do so. I'm looking at you. Uh, Chris, not the Crystarium, Yilmore. All right. This is Bayside Bevy, Tulio's largest marketplace. Being right on the side of, of the harbor, everything from the fresh fish to imported wares go directly to the shelves. Anything you want, they most likely have. Oh, right, I should mention here in Tuliana, Tuliolal, we buy things with Pel, a currency that the Pel... Pelu Pelu, Pelu Pelu created. But don't worry, more and more trade is coming in from Eorzea, so most shops are happy to accept your kill. There's also... Oh, jeez. Waku Kim Ki. Waku Kim Kim. Another market to the east here, but you can wait for another time. I have other places I want to show you first. Next, we'll head back a bit to northwards, up the stairs to a certain plaza. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on your faces. Waku Kiki. Waku Kiki. I think I got Waku Kiki. Wait, there's a crystal. I must touch it. Also, was I right? Was it Yelmore? I'm sorry, it's gonna bother me unless I, sit, I look at. Yeah, Yilmore. That one you could not attune the crystal until. Well, basically, you beat the expansion. Yay, I can travel here. Alright, I'm gonna open the map. Okay, if you're seeing me run around, I have to attune all these crystals. Also, I need to do this. I'll do those later. I wish daytime would come. I want to hear the daytime music, because daytime and nighttime music are different. And on top of that, I would love to see what this place looks like with the lights on. The sun is slowly coming up, I think. Or is this place just always night? Oh wow, there's a lot of people here. I take it this is the raid spot? Is there... alright. Is there anything down there? No. Alright, we'll go north to the residence quarters. I mean, she would probably take me to all these places. Also, yeah. I want to just do all the crystals now. Come on, ladies. Alright, we got guards at the front door to stop you from leaving because... Technically, I shouldn't be able to leave yet. Alright. Can I sprint? Perfect. Also, let me lock my taskbar. Do not need to remove something by accident. Oh yeah, while I'm running, I guess I'll explain, um, Gunbreaker to you. So, Gunbreaker, uh, has, sh uh, well, like every tank, shields and heals. Except Gunbreaker has regains also. So what we have here is we have an ability called Aurora, which is a regain. It's pretty useful, you pop on yourself or an ally. Same thing with Heart of Corrodium. Uh, it's a really good, uh, shield spell not a spell, a shield ability, that it has a cooldown of 25 seconds. It is really good. On top of that, it also, if it has a... You will get healed. Like, for now, I got damage reduction. And then after a certain amount of time, I'm going to get healed. And there it is. Heart... And now, um, your best friend is going to be the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl, ha. Huh? Um, basically you want to use this if you are in trouble, but the problem with that is Your HP is gonna go to one 
So you better get healed from your healer, but it'll make you invulnerable. And here's the keyword to most moves, not all of them. It says right there, impervious to most attacks. Uh, I'm explaining this very badly. I wasn't even planning on really explaining this class, but eh, I might as well, right? I'm playing it for the expansion. So I do play tank rarely every now and then. And so many times in the past, I'm like, I'm, I promise myself I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I never do. Jowbringers was a death rattle for me for a while. Not because the story or anything, it's just I had enough, really. For... How do I put this? I've been very unhappy with the uh, changes they've been doing to classes for a long time. And what started that was Astro, personally. I was so mad for so long with those changes. It was unhealthy. So what I did is I... Finally, at a point, I said, I'm done. I just don't want to do this anymore. And so after fighting the Warrior Light, the original Warrior Light, who was actually an Asti on the top of the Crystarium, right after you beat him and everyone gets their souls returned to their bodies and Childbringers, I uninstalled the game and quit it until Endwalker came out and it was... A patch away from fin uh, finishing the expansion. I came back. Yeah. It's exactly how it sounds. I didn't get burned out. I was just... It was an unhealthy anger for no reason, really. But I knew I had to stop. And I'm like, I'm done for a while. No, I'm fine. You're just never going to see me play Astro, personally. I don't care about what changes they do, but I'm not going to play it. Alright, this is a nice little jog around places, and luckily, when I start having to go all these places, these are already... By the way, every time I go to a new city, get ready, I'm doing this immediately. But yeah, usually, when I make the, you know, commitment of trying to be a tank, um, trials, I'm okay. I don't really do raids. Dungeons is where I hurt the most, because I'm not the best. But I will attempt to do my best. Yeah, I can sprint. Is it daytime yet? The sun looks like it might be coming out, which is good. I want to hear the daytime music. All right, but yeah, I quit the game for a while. I came back uh, probably, I would say, a year before this expansion came out, and I was... Oh, look at them. That's adorable. Look at the... Wow. Okay. But yeah, I came back maybe a year before the expansion came out. I think somewhere around there. On the tunes, but everything else, I believe I have a tune. Did I tune that? I think I did. And here's the palace, which I believe I will be coming back to a few times with all the players here, probably doing MSQ. Also, that guy has the same axe as her. Nice. Ah, right. Because they're the soldiers and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. Now I'm gonna teleport. Let's teleport here. Wait, can I teleport here? I have not tuned that. I gotta fix that. You're probably screaming at me saying, hey, you idiot. You can attune these as you go. They will bring you here. Nope. Attuning them now. Get done and over with. Because as you can see, I can teleport when they're with me, so I only have to do this once. Ow. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I, do I want to go down there? This one's a weird one. Oh, there it is. 
Also expect this outfit to change throughout the game because there are going to be armor sets I will be wearing that are relevant to the story because I'm going to wear whatever is better than this. But these are 650. I have attuned to all shards. Perfect. Let's teleport back and go to the major crystal in the middle of the island. Well, not the island, but the land. I saw someone else was doing that too. Wise. I just want to do this and get out of the way. Wow, you're covered in... Oh, that was your weapon. My bad. I thought she was covered with Christmas lights on the back. My like, Christmas lights? I don't think we had that yet. But yeah, that's why I'm personally very unfamiliar with the story and what's going on right now, because I haven't really paid attention to it in a long time. And don't ask me about a Realm Reborn, because I'm extremely rusty with that. Extreme. Also, that is a beautiful crystal. And Stormblood, also rusty on, and I'm especially rusty with Heaven's Ward. I barely remember what happened in Heaven's Ward. That's why if I ever do New Game Plus, it'd probably be extremely helpful. What do you think of that, eh? That is a beautiful crystal, I'm not gonna lie. Goodness me. You have Aetherites and Turliel too. Oh, sorry. Goodness me, you have Aetherites and Turliel too? I think I told you before, but my brother, Kona, spent three years studying in Sheralala. He fell in love with the nation and its ways and brought back to us the knowledge of Aetherite construction. Papa warmed to the idea at once. Had one built immediately. Oh, so we think this is new. Did you, did you do the attuning thing? If you're ready to continue, we'll head down and again and then up the slope to the right side gate. Okay, let's make a stop to Bright Plume Post on the way, though. That's the headquarters of the Lands Guard. I'm attuning you so good. Here we go. Attune! Yeah, yeah. I attuned ya. I'm gonna, I guess, set home point. Yeah. Hi, Rosenda. Aetherite. So we wanna go there? Well, there's no need to tell. Actually, I'm gonna teleport. Actually, no, I don't want to teleport because it's just going to put me even farther. So yeah, we'll just have to go back. Oh, the sun's... Yes! The music's going to change soon. Come on, game. You got this. Change the time. I need to hear and see this place in full light. Hmm. We'll get there. Here we are. It's a square. Usually it's a circle. Oh, this one's an optional one. Fry, what do you think? Discuss Tuliol's ele elevation. Trudging up and down all these slopes and stairs is exhausting. I understand now where Loch Lamont gets her endless endurance. Uh, hello. I have a lot of narrow winding streets that crawl up and up the sides of the mountain. As you can see though, the builders made sure the city's main thoroughfares were wide enough for, to accommodate wagons. Okay. Oh, I can just teleport there. Oh, oh well, we got some flavor text. Which, like I said, I am going to actually pay attention and... Oh, that is ugly. I personally... Uh, yellow can both be pulled off sometimes, but a lot of times it's iffy. Depends what kind of yellow it is, I guess. But yeah, it makes sense. You want the streets to be wide enough going up and down so wagons can go down. Like these. Except those look like they transport animals. Oh, I'm gonna go this way. I love how I tuned all these crystals to teleport to, and then I walk just to get some flavor text. Mobi, mobile ya, waka waka. Oh. listen to the music oh wow it's definitely a lot more lively man okay so far the soundtrack for this expansion is top oh yeah oh yeah the soundtrack's kicking here we are bright plume post the soldier station here is responsible for defending Tulil and preserving the peace the Lands God are led by our nation's strongest... Oh, sorry, the hiccup right there. Warrior. 
And so naturally, Papa has commended them, commended them since the beginning. Damn it. Oh, I hate myself. One second. When in doubt, just chug a drink. That's my coffee I was chugging. At least three years ago, when Zaralyal took over as commander, the title is no empty honor. It means the first promise is considered equal to the Dawn's servant in martial strength. Meanwhile, I haven't even managed to... Well, well I discuss my brothers and their accomplishments later. I have known LSA should be around to hear it too. Come on, it's time I showed you the Sky Gate. It's right to the north end of Helenmarch. Right, let me talk to Mobeya. As hard as we train, make no mistake, Tuliol is safe and peaceful city. Looking back, it's hard to believe the city that every last corner of Turiol was embroiled in war a mere 80 years ago. Hmm. Waka Waka. Oh, it's Wawaka. Waka. Donya Waka Waka, my bad, ma'am. As you can see, the Landsguard recruits from every culture of Tiliol. First, uh, Tiliolol. Tiliolol. Personally, I find it fascinating to see how each of them uses their unique abilities to their advantage in battle. Even their posture is different. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, Shoch? Wait, Shohei. Shohei? Now I've completed my field training. I'm checking our stock, not just counting it, mind, but making note of each item's condition. Should worse come to worse, it could mean the difference between life and death. You might save somebody's life with that, man. I don't know what's going to happen in this expansion, but that might be important. Okay. All right, let me talk to you, Bol Mahun. This here is the Bright, po Bright Plume Post, also known as the Lands Guards Headquarters. Under the command of the Great Zoral Yah, we hone our combat skills in order to apprehend any threats that detected on patrol. You may come and go as you'd like, but don't cause any trouble, you hear me? Understood, sir. I am very excited to hear what the rest of the music in this expansion is like, because right now it is pretty, pretty good. Now I'm just hearing this song in this town. I don't even know what the outskirts sound like. All right, walk about. I'm probably saying her name wrong. I'm sorry. I'm going to call her Waka Waka. I'll just call her Walk. All right, what's up? Turn you off. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, never mind. It's not enabled. Massive, isn't it? That is a gate. Where does it go? And on the other side is an equally massive bridge to match. Both were constructed by a race of giants, the Yokoi. Strictly speaking, Turo is exactly actually two separate continents. Yoktoro, the southern lands of the mother, and Aktul, Aktul, the northern lands of the father, which lie beyond the bridge. Legends say it used to be one of the great landmasses, but long, long ago, the two gods fought a titanic battle. And when one threw the other to the ground, the impact was so devastating as to split the continent in twain. A familiar sounding tale, I'm to put my mind, oh, sorry, I keep forgetting to cry all sometimes. A familiar sounding tale, I am put in my mind of our conflict between Hydaelyn and Zodiac. Ah, uh, the moon. But getting back to Octurl. Ak Earl, yes. Those lands are also part of Tuliol Nation, correct? The Tuliol Nation. That's right. Is my father incredible? He united the peoples of two continents into a single nation. The many clans of Tuliol have been at war for generations. It was only when Papa traveled the lands and put a stop to the myriad conflicts that we finally had peace. And that's the main reason I want to win the throne, so I can preserve the peace he built. Honorable. But you have to tell me more about your siblings, because I need to know who we're going against. And I need to know if your siblings are mostly dicks, because usually they are. But I see you're more interested in what's behind the gate that's than hearing about my aspirations. 
Very sorry. Crossing the bridge of Yacht Road requires a special travel pass. Unfortunately, they won't issue any new permits until the right succession is over. I promise to get you one when I'm the Dawn Servant, but until then, you'll have to wait. Uh... Now make sure you win. Mark my words. <laughs> you really mean that? <laughs> Woe to anyone who stands between you and the venture. That gate is massive. Okay. So we will be going behind that gate one day. Which... Okay. Hey, Kryle. We must have covered half the city by now. Thuriel is unlike any place I've visited. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Alright, let's do this. Okay, one second. I got a new weapon. I got a new weapon coffer. Now... Mm, what class does not have a weapon of that caliber? One second, I'm checking. Dark Knight? Absolutely not. Do not do Dark Knight. Warrior? No. White Mage? No. Sage? No. No, no, no. Maybe? I can also do Monk. Which is a 640. And what's this? A 645. Actually, wait. No, 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 no. Uh, Bard. There we go. We'll do Bard's weapon. I'm not using it for something I don't need. Okay, what's it look like? I'm very curious. Show my gear. Try it out. Eh, it's just a bow, but it's better than what I was wearing before. So there you go. There you go, Bard. Enjoy. I'm going back to good old Gunbreaker. All right. A city of stairs. Waklama is ready to commence the second half of the Orturiel journey. Four. We'll head west next towards the Arc Arch of the Dawn. The dir the dir dirigible landing is on the way. You have dirigibles too? Turliel certainly does certainly doesn't want wa doesn't want for methods of travel. We get by. Now, if you see enough of this area, let me know, and we'll continue on. All right, let's keep moving. The Ark of Dawn is on the other side of the city, so speak up if you see anything that interests you as we walk. I swear to God, if it warrant, it tells me. Okay, it did. Thank God. Alright, uh, we're walking this way. Let's go. I'll put that there for now. Alright. Oh, man. So, I'm really hoping you're gonna enjoy this, because... I'm actually hoping I enjoyed this expansion, personally. If it doesn't get any views, well, shame, but I'm still going to play either way. I also do plan to do future patches as they come out. I might do a video or two on the weekends about them, like raids and stuff. And maybe I'll just, you know, continue doing that for a while. But for now, I just plan on playing this. It's going to take over my retro game slot for a bit because Elden Ring is the main game for me. And this is going to be my retro game. But I'm going to have to get a few episodes uh, recorded before I can actually upload them. Because right now, I only got, technically, if you're wondering how many, two. Not enough for a week. Cryo, what's up? I'm still struggling to uh, conceive how one could construct an entire city up on the side of a mountain. Oh, man. We've done it. We've done it. This was literally the site of the Yokuya Temple. The giants built it when they were first making the bridge to Yak Tru. To appease the gods who slumbers in the great ocean trench. After Yok Yokui withdrew, the temple stood empty for centuries. So when Papa was establishing his new nation, he saw a structure he could refurbish into a palace, sitting practically in the center of Turu. <coughs> he gathered artisans to work, and the houses they built for themselves became the foundation of the city you see today. Speaking of houses, we'll be passing through the resplendent quarter, the biggest residential district in Turiel. We climb these sets of stairs here and all the way up. Up we go! Which I could teleport, but we have additional conversation. Hey, I really like the theme of this place. It is nice, but the night theme is also just relaxing. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, look at those reefs. Oh, yeah, you couldn't get a big... Oh, and the big ships are over there, because they can't get any closer. 
Uh, well, the, they're not. Yeah, and those are the smaller ships for fishing. Those are the bigger ships for import and export of goods. All right. Discuss the palace. Popo's palace is called Volok Shunsa. Shunsa. Volok Shunsa, which roughly translates to invisible re resilience. You probably want to take a closer look, but we'll be coming back here later. Let's move on for now. All right. The sheer scale of this place is incredible. I wonder what the carving at the top re represents. Oh, you mean that? I honestly have no clue. Oh man, look at that. Oh jeez, that's a set of armor. I want that. That might be... If I had to guess, it's either a dungeon set near the end of the expansion, or it is a raid set. Also, I am shocked people have beaten the story for this already. Like, I barely played it personally because I've been so busy with Elden Ring and other things. But people beat the story literally in the first day. I'm like, people just play it and enjoy it. You don't need a rush. All right, Cryo. So this is the re respl uh, resplendent quarter. What manner of people live here? Oh, we have residents from all the Yolktul clans. Mamulya, Zabla, Pep... Pel Pelu Pelu, Mob Moblin, Tanahanu. We also have Tanawaka, uh, Tanawakata, Tanawakata, Hetsaro, Et and Shitano, who moved south from their ancestral lands of Zyaktal. In essence, it's a, a gathering of people from every corner of Turl. A true representation of Turl's diverse character, the Admirants on each building contribute to the accent, uh, the eccentric, eccentric culture aesthetic. It's so beautiful. I'm glad you think so. Come, we continue down the stairs. Ah, yay, more stairs. I'm gonna be teleporting around this place like crazy when I'm able to. I mean, technically I can now, but dialogue. Man, it's a massive wall. All right, what do you have to say? Discuss the huge drum. What? what huge drum? Oh, that? That is a huge drum. That drum over there is called the Dawn Herald. They play at formal occasion, like when honoring the Lion's Guard's return from a dangerous duty. Okay. I tried hitting it with my axe once and ripped the skin. Earned me a proper scolding, let me tell you. I think that was the time Papa held me upside down by my ankle. What's your papa like? I mean, then again, you did destroy an antique drum. That is very important to your culture. I've never seen such an enormous drum. What would one even use to beat such an instrument? A hammer? Just a guess. I am enjoying this so far. I'm not even barely, I'm barely playing a game right now. The problem is, is hopefully the story keeps me engaged, because a problem with games is if you're not engaged thoroughly with the story and it keeps dropping you off, like, not like slowing down, but you keep losing mm, engagement with it. It's a problem sometimes, so I hope this one keeps me going. And here are our dirigibles. Not bad, eh? I hear other nations use airships to sail the skies, but you only find balloons in Tulio. We have them for the exact same reason as the Aetherites. Corner brought back plans from Sherlana, and Papa thought them fantastic and commissioned their construction. This was around three years ago. Wow, so you built Aetherite crystals and giant balloons in three years. You guys are impressive. Since that time, we added flights to other settlements. Trade with frontier communities has never been easier. But that's enough about dirigibles. The Ark of Dawn awaits. Let's see it. Is this a new one? I think it's a new one. If it's on the ground, it's new. If not, it, I don't think it's new. Okay, nope, it's about the drum. Oh, wait, I have to talk to this guy. Alpaca keep. Welcome. I have some alpaca you need and look no further. Before we get you saddled up, I'll need to add your name to our register. It'll make things more smoother next time you arrive. And okay, that's the chocobo keep of this place. Understood. I have that headset. 
I do. All right. Is this the Ark of John? The Arch, Ark, whatever. Yep, that currently is. That is big. This is it, the Ark of Dawn. Of the Dawn. When the giants were still here, it was known as Yachtul Zilangate. But when Papa founded Tilil, everyone began using its present name in honor of his great achievement. Though this gate is Kazma Uk. Kazma Uk. Uki. Uka? Kazma Uka? The wetlands south of the city. Depending on what the right succession asks of us, we might end up going in that direction. Kazma Uka. The name alone is intriguing. Speaking of which, what were those fluffy animals we passed earlier? Alpacas? Yeah, they're fluffy. I was gonna say they spit, but that's our llamas. Ah, those are alpacas. Fearsome, four-legged fiends. Wait, what? You, they're fearsome. I hate to say it. Fearsome, they, queen, they seem quite placid to me. You'll learn soon enough, Kral. You'll learn soon enough. <laughs> but forget the alpacas. I have something far more important to show you. Come along. I don't know. I want to know what the alpacas did to you. Alright, guess we're going to continue. Oh, they're actually gone. Let's do this. A little delay with the weapon coming out. Alright. If you wish to learn more history about Tulio, then look no further. Oh, you mean the stones? These? You mean the stone pillars, you mean? Saga and stone. A chest piece. Hmm. Kyle regards the stone pillars curiously. What's special about these pillars, you may ask? At the glance, they might look like ordinary stone decorations, but if you take a really good look, you'll see something much more interesting. Really? Oh, I have to wait at this destination. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, inspect the stone pillars. It's history. There's different uh, carvings on each one. I got feeling that's the history of this entire continent. Yeah. Because here they're building, here, the, uh, and then I don't know what that is. Hmm. Pictures? Wait, oh, these are glyphs? They seem to tell a series of stories, many of them featuring a two-headed Mamul Ya. Oh, then this must be. That's right. It follows the exploits of my father, Gulu Yaya, and his journey to unite our lands. We call them the Tulil Saga. The deeds he performed and the bonds he forged are all immortalized in stone. Is your father still alive? I think he is. You didn't mention he died. There's no better way to learn how Tulil came to be. Study them as long as you like. Hmm. Will we actually meet your father? Oh, wait. Oh, 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 okay. This is different. This is a different way of doing it. Okay, let's look at the lay of the Brotherhood. This video tells the lay of the Brotherhood. It depicts the scene where Papa granted an audience to a foreign explorer, Cat. Something. Cat something. Never remember his the name. You mean Ketaram? Ah, that's the one. Kenton Ram's arrival in Tulio is what prompted Papa to embark on his own journey. They said the two grew to be close friends, brothers in spirit, if not in blood. But no one knows what became of the explorer in the later years. Ketaram's disappearance is a mystery in the oh, is it a mystery in yours as well? The records say he traveled between our lands and yours for a while, but then it's assumed he was lost at sea. Hmm. Okay, late. 
Yeah, we'll do we'll do this side first before this side. All right, lay of reeds. Here we have the lay of reeds. This is a story where Papa visited the Hana Hanu Hanu in the village of Kosmok. Ah, the people Alphanode almost mistook for Vanu Vanu, if not for their colorful plumage. He spent a fair bit of time among the Vanu in the Sea of Clouds, so it's no surprise he took an interest in your countrymen. I do not know how it is your uh, I do not know how it is with your Vanu, but our Hanu are bright and cheerful sort. They hold this one's festival every year, very famous and a lot of fun. I'm doing accents, I know this, trying to copy her, and I have a feeling it sounds absolutely horrid. Uh, I'm gonna stick with it. And then I'll forget next time. This one recounts the lay of repast. As you can probably tell, the figure depicted here is of... Bzar... Br Bralal, like me. Bedeka is the Brawl and Marulia were at war for control over the forest of Yaktel. The actions Pod took to end the conflict have since been hailed as the first steps of founding Tulil. There is a clan of Rathgar and Bozia known as Hellions. In their society, the women rule as queens and the men serve as devout, su devout subjects. Yet here, the Turul, Zabral men and women appear to be of equal status. How, dramatic, how dramatically culture can vary with location. Right. I forgot the Rothgar. Yep, yep, yep. I remember that now. Uh, let's see. This one's the Leopolds, which depicts moblins mob of Kazmauk. They might wear odd masks and sound weirdly muffled when they talk. But this gold and silver work they sell is the best you'll find anywhere. Moblin goods are the standard when it comes to gift giving. Clearly the Vanu aren't the only people with distant Tur Turili counterparts. Alright. If you're done with the first half, we can move on to the second half. Here. Okay, so we're done with those four pillars. Alright, back here, lay of gold. The Lay of Gold, the pillars show more of the Pelpu Pelpu, whose homeland is in uh, Okipaka. Having created a currency, the Pella are rightfully known as the Merchant Clan. They oversee Tilliel's markets, and the traveling peddlers are the common sight no matter where you go in Tilliel. Don't let their size fool you. They might be mistaken as children, but beneath those beaked masks, they are clever and calculating traders. Lay of Ice. Oh, this one's my favorite. The Lay of Ice. It depicts a battle with the legendary Tul Tul Vida. Vili Gon. Okay, give me a second. Vili Garmanda. Vili Garmanda. She explained A Tul Vidla is a creature that has lived far beyond its usual lifespan and is wakened to pre natural power. Tataru described a far eastern os a species in a similar fashion. Could this be the same phenomena? Viligamanda itself was dubbed as Sky Ruin, a name earned for its destruction and terror it visited upon Tarul every time it stirred from its slumber. I got film be fighting it later, but 80 years or so ago, its ruinous reign was brought to an end. After a great struggle, Papa and his comrades managed to overcome the raging vidral and sealed it away in the Ak Akupaka Mountains. Yeah, we're gonna be fighting it later. Akupaka Mountains. Despite its reputation, however, Vil Viligamanda is also a symbol of power. That's why you'll see its likely likeliness in Tuli. Oh man, I'm I'm losing it now. Tuliola's nation emblem and adorning the banner at the palace. Lay a proof. Ah, the layer proof. The big fellow is a Yokwai, the largest of Tulio's people. These giants once used their great size and strength to establish a dominion encompassing all of Yoktol. Having brought the southern reaches to heel, they themselves turned northwards, having set their sights on Yak. Uh oh. 
You will recall the massive bridge they built beyond the sky gate. Sometime after launching the northern campaign, however, they just gave up. They abandoned the lands they conquered and withdrew into the mountains of Okipaka. I've never seen any of their kind so much set foot in the city. This is this was a pe this was a people with the power and resourcefulness to raise a temple on the mountaintop and build a bridge across the sea with stone. What would move them to renounce their ambitions and their place in Tural history? I don't know. Why would they just give up? A blank pillar, probably for the future. Oh, this one's unmocked. Papa says he left a, a blank pillar for the next chapter of Tuliala's history. Whatever that might be. Makes sense. How do you feel history then? Yes, thank you. I am tired of pronouncing things badly. Glad to hear it. You know, I feel awfully hungry all of a sudden. No surprises there, seeing I couldn't keep anything down for a while. But now I th think I'm ready to eat again. So let's go have ourselves a bit of local delicacy. Come, I'll take you to the best restaurant in the city. I like the sound of that. Alright, off for food. Mmm. Alright. Mm. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's see what food they serve. I can close the map for now. Hello, this must be the restaurant you were talking about. Have you ever had tacos? They're a Tulial classic. You bake a crunchy shell made from corn flour and fill it with meat and salad. A lot of shops still sell them. But I like how they're made here at Zali Zali Oh jeez. Baliav Baliav Tir. And I need one right in front of me right now. Let's head downstairs and place an order with old Burkavu. Burkavu. Apparently some extreme is gonna be something else, so. Yep. I don't plan on doing any extremes, just casual content. I haven't been dedicated to extremes in ever. Hello? Bur Baruch Evu. Baruch Evu. Baruch Evu. Baruch Evu. Baruch Evu. I love how I'm focused how to pronounce his name. Brooke Evu! Oh, I was right! Brooke Evu! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, I got one! My companions must sample your heavenly tacos. One for each of us, please. Right away, promise. And I'll pack them tight with my choicest feelings. Only the best for you and your friends. Weird, mine has a long pink hair in it. You. Did you hear the silver scares are back? Seems their overseas foray ended in disaster. More than half their warband is missing. Oh, is that? Including their leader. Is that the one that said he gave up mercenary work because he lost half his band? And so he's, Aye. Hmm. And now keen to rebuild their broken reputations. The survivors seek the golden city. <laughs> A fool's errand. How many hopefuls have disappeared in search of that fable? They should count their lucky stars they came home alive at all. Hmm. I see you have salsa and dip and The legend chips. of the Golden City is well known here, I take it. Seems it. It is, but as no one's ever seen it, many question if there is any truth to the tale. Like our skeptical Erinville. I can't imagine the Dawn Servant would request a formal survey for a place that doesn't exist. Hmm. It exists. 
I wonder when we find it, because we're clearly going to have to go look for it. Now to find a spot with a pleasant view to enjoy our crunchy spoils. Oh, oh well, so much oh. for that. <laughs> if it isn't the third promise. Oh, no. I don't know these ones. <sighs> New salt. Dredge from foreign waters is my guess, brother. Of course, that's it. Wuklamat is so afraid of the coming contest that she went crying for special help. <laughs> Was there something you wanted, Bakul Jaja? <gasps> the third promise remembers us! Such an honor. Glory on your name, brother. <laughs> and on yours, brother. I know my rivals for the throne. Nothing more. Another child of the Dawn Servant? No, this brute. <laughs> we have no ties to their farce of a family. Unlike the sneveling housecut, we are blessed siblings, the Oliver Chosen. We alone are fit to succeed Golul Jaja as Dawn Servant. All peoples are equal in Tulihyola. Your heritage gives you no greater claim to the throne. Ha! <laughs> Shall we test that idea here and now? See if your strength is equal to ours. None of this has any bearing on the right of succession, correct? Best not waste your energies on pointless scuffles. <laughs> the kitten comes to the house cat's defense. Mm, pathetic. Since when was our nation overrun by mewling weaklings? Listen to me, you! Quar, I hate to say, she can't see your hand. I like how Kral stuck her hand up to stop her. She's not even looking down, so she can't see her hand! A two-headed Mamulja. I knew of them, but that's the first I've seen in the flesh. So I think that's the main antagonist. Some get it into their twin heads that they're destined to follow in my father's footsteps. So they travel to distant lands to hone their battlecraft. Those are likely the ones you've heard about. Are there other two-headed claimants? No, just Bakul Jaja. Even in Tural, his kind are far from common. The Mamulja people largely belong to one of three clans. The Hubigo, the Bunewa, and the Dopro. Every once in the great while, a two-headed offspring is born from a union between the brown-scaled Hubigo and the blue-scaled Bunewa. The child grows to possess immense strength, both physical and magical. Blessed siblings indeed. So, if we ever battle him, he'll swap between physical and magical. Mm -mm. Forget them. Let's go and buy more tacos. I can think of nothing better to rid me of this bad taste in my mouth.
Uh oh, don't think we're having those tacos. Enjoying your tour of the city, I trust. We've seen our share of notable sights and took a moment to rest. As such, we're ready to present ourselves at the palace for the rite of succession. Shall we meet you there? The palace it is. I'll let Whoop Lamart know. Uh, well, she's not gonna be happy. She can get her tacos. Destiny calls. Perhaps we can return for more tacos later? Ah, <sighs> so it goes. <laughs> yeah, as you pick up the bag. Hey, you can eat the crushed remains? Mm. Hey, Grile. I was looking forward to trying some authentic Tilliel cuisine. We should hurry and join Alphado and the others at the palace. Oh, that, uh, it's a bit of a climb to the top, but you can head up from here from the resplendent quarters, or even the eastern side of Thalamarch if you prefer. Now that you have an idea of the city's laid, uh, laid out, I'll let you find your own way to Valok Shunsa. Ah, my poor empty belly. I'll just take the Aetherite Crystal. I'll be there in a second. Now, my question is, okay, um, I'll finish this quest and I think I'm going to call it. Because a lot, I think, is about to happen again. Uh, uh, you fat cat. Oh, yeah, I have Zidane minion. Hello, Zidane. All right, let's teleport. This is why I activated them all. Quicker than running all the way there. Is a decent armor set, not gonna lie. Alright, this is the palace, eh? It is big. Now, I wonder if we're gonna come across those giants. Because they went to the mountains where that legendary fiend is. So, if the legendary fiend is in the mountains and the giants are in the mountains, I got a feeling that they're trying to keep him sealed. Or. I don't know, I'm thinking too much right now, I should stop. Alize, how you doing? Food is amazing. A passing moomal, yeah. Let's try a food called Sherry Moa. And it was sublime. Ryle. There's so many narrow winding streets, but even if you get lost, all you have to do is keep heading up and you'll arrive at the palace eventually. Alphanode? We saw a two handed Mamulia on the way here. Another claimant in the right succession according to Erinville. Erinville! You uh, do you have a better feel of the city now? Then, no, not you. You made it, good. Then we're all here. I'm still hungry enough to eat the whole roasted colib colibri, 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 but this contest won't wait for us forever. Finish. And now I shall accept you next time. All right, what armor? Six fit 45. Definitely not you. Okay, what armor do I need? Not monk. Monk's good. I can do black mage. Never mind. Bard? No. Well, actually. Okay, Bard, you're about to get an upgrade for armor. Well, Bard and a few. A dancer, I should say. What's it look like? Oh, wow. That. Wow. I actually quite like that. Oh, well, there you go. Enjoy. Back to Gunbreaker. So, uh, this one is one of the first ones, um, for the story, and honestly, right now, it's very interesting, and I can't wait to see, you know, honestly, I'm interested in seeing where the story goes, I got a feeling we're gonna go in there, and more story things are gonna happen. I will talk, oh, yeah, nope, 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 we'll do that next time. The next quest will be the right succession. I shall start here and we will continue here. I'm gonna just do that. I don't need to see what they're talking about. My free company's a bit weird. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna call it here and I, oh, the gates are opening and closing. All right, but I'll see you next time. It will continue the right of succession, but until then, I'll see you next time and goodbye.